Good morning and welcome to the Monday Morning Recap. It's been a few weeks since we've done one of these, and I look forward to getting back to them on a regular basis during uh, our new sermon series called Created for Happiness. We began this series this last Sunday, and I have to admit once again that I, I struggled with the idea of this sermon series, this Created for Happiness. Not because I'm not happy or I don't like to talk about being happy or anything like that. I, I'm very happy uh, and I, I love spreading that happiness. But because happy as an emotion, happiness as a feeling, well, it's really hard to talk about because it's kind of a fleeting feeling. We do a lot in this life to try to achieve happiness, to be happy all the time. And when we chase an emotion like that, we tend to get ourselves in trouble. We tend to chase something that we can't hold on to forever. See, to be happy is just like being sad or angry or anxious, or nervous, or, or uh, joyful, or w whatever the range of emotions we have as people, that we have a full range of them. And if you're like me, I, I even have a hard time naming them or, or owning them in the moment. But happy is one of those things that I think we all try to, to do. And yet we all fall in the trap of, well, if I buy this thing, I'll just be happy. If I do this thing or have this job or whatever it is, we try to do all of these things to be happy. And often we ignore the, the realness of what we're feeling and when we're feeling sad or angry or, or anxious or whatever. And when I was writing this sermon, there was a, there's an, a, a Disney movie that's a few years old now, a cartoon uh, called Inside Out that kept coming to mind. And I didn't talk about it in the sermon, but I wanted to talk about it here because I think it captures the full range of uh, the, of, of, our, of our emotions and how they work together and make us whole, even the emotions that we don't really want to deal with. I, I don't know about you, but I, I don't like feeling sad. I really don't like feeling anxious. But that's part of who I am. That's part of who we are as people is feeling all that, that we have. And when we dig into who we're created to be, that's the fullness of who we are, that full range. And this movie, Inside Out, it journeys with this young girl coming, you know, coming of age and the things that she's dealing with with her family and growing up. And we get a peek inside her brain and, you know, uh, you have anger who uh, controls the board sometimes and, and anxiety and jealousy and nervousness and, and joy and each of these emotions have a personality, and each of these emotions um, guide this young woman. And then we see throughout the thing as she's chasing, trying to figure out what's going on in her life, because she's chasing a feeling, chasing an emotion, some of the others take over. Anger and, and jealousy and sadness and happiness or joy, well, it gets pushed out. And she has a hard time recapturing that because she's chasing it so badly, but not allowing herself to feel the others and until it just boils up and, and bubbles over into this raw emotion and kind of just outburst. And we, we do that too. When we only chase happiness and we don't allow ourselves to feel all the things, well, we get caught up in that. We don't, we don't live into the fullness of who we are as people. And Sunday, we talked about what it means to be happy in the sense of being present, in the sense of creation, and God's presence in creation, and the fact that God was willing to take a breath, to rest, to look out upon all of creation, all that God had done, and see it as supremely good, Instead of continuing to chase that feeling, even God takes a break. Even God steps back and rests. We see it all throughout Scripture, both in the Hebrew Bible and in the New Testament. We see God take a breath. We, uh, breath. we see Jesus go and, 
rest on the mountain and retreat. We see it all over the place. And if God, if God is willing to look out and rather than chasing the feeling of happiness or success, is willing to step back and rest, to take a breath and just be present in it all, in it all what a better lesson for us to live in our own created, our own nature. See, we're created in the image of God, which means we get to take a step back no matter how we're feeling. Angry, sad, mad, happy, excited, joyful, nervous, anxious. Through all that we're created in, we too get to take a step back and rest. And like that movie Inside Out, rather than letting one thing control all that we do, all of our actions, all that we say, we let our full range of emotions work together. And we allow ourselves to feel all the things we're feeling in the moment, even when it's hard. And that allows us to live into who we're created to be and what we're created to be, the fullness. But it also reminds us that we can, too, take a step back, take a breath, and rest. Go. Go and live this week and this life aware of that, aware of all that you're created to be in the fullness of who you are, and let yourself take a step back and rest. We'll see you next week.